Hey, what's everyone? I'm going to start off by saying that as the new console generation is on the rise and coming here very, very soon, a lot of big companies are starting to notice things and take things into consideration, including big companies as Alienware. Now, not very many people like them. A lot of PC gamers consider them the Apple of gaming computers because they do sell things for insanely high prices, and they're not exactly the most positive effect on PC gaming as a whole. And when a lot of people that don't know much about PC gaming think of PC gaming, they think of Alienware and how expensive their computers are and they don't realize that there's a lot more cheaper and more easy your ways to actually get into PC gaming. So they're not exactly the most positive company or impact on PC gaming, but they've actually started taking into consideration and started watching how the new consoles are going to actually be PC based architectures, x86 based, and start talking about how they're going to have features and applications that have PCs have had for a very long time. Now I'm hearing this from a company like that really raises the question is, are they thinking of anything or are they going to be doing anything, changing anything, like maybe lowering the prices or try to make things more exciting or positive and just more interesting to consumers or are they going to be changing anything at all or do they just come out and just start talking about that stuff? But most people really don't care, but this might actually be a good first step. A lot of people will agree on, you know, because a lot of people don't really like them, but this will be a good way to actually start, maybe start undoing all the negative of effects that they've came or gave on PC gaming as a whole. Now one of the things a lot of people have been hearing lately is EA and how they've discontinued their DRM policy. Now a lot of people are still happy to hear that, but people still think that it has to do with Microsoft and how they're going to have all those restrictions in DRM on the Xbox One. But now that Microsoft has backed out of that, a lot of people are left thinking what is EA going to do now? But it looks like right now they have came out and said that on Origin they're actually going to start caring and paying close attention to the gamers. And this does actually surprise a lot of people because they're left thinking that's what they should have actually done in the first place. And even if they say all this stuff actually is true and does actually happen, there is still no community there. Yeah, you could buy games, but there's no discussion forums, there's nothing else you could really do other than buy games. I'm going to wrap this up guys by talking to you guys about the new 700 series of graphics cards from Nvidia. One of the things that's definitely worth noticing about the 700 series compared to the 600 series of graphics cards is that there are bigger margins in terms of performance. And what I mean by that is that, let's just say, the 670. When it came to the 670 compared to the 680, they were very, very close in terms of performance. A lot of people love to argue that you could just overclock the 670 to become just as powerful in performance as the 680, but you could still overclock the 680 to be even more powerful. And when it comes to the 770 and the 780, there's a much bigger margin in terms of performance. And that generally makes a lot of people very happy because it makes them feel like when they get a top of the line card, you know, like a 780, they really feel like they're getting really good for their money's worth because there's a much bigger jump in performance and they really just feel like, you know, they're not just giving them a slightly overclocked version of the card or anything. So a lot of people are very happy to hear this and this actually does make a lot of sense actually. And it really confused a lot of people in the last generation of cards. Well, that pretty much wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if there's anything you would love to add, make sure to post it in the comments below. And just tell me guys your opinion on what you think about these big companies and what they're doing, or what you think might be actually going on. So anyways, thanks again guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.